Oh, my kitty. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Okay. That's about it. It's a cat. It's whatever. I lost. Anyways. Our goal today is to make a thatch hut and to tame a Draboa. Now, I was playing this earlier. And I just kept getting killed by raptor after raptor after raptor. So hopefully this doesn't happen yet again. Um, I just need to realize, I need to get this through my mind. This is the first thought. I always have this weird OCD thing where like, wherever I choose to build has to be the perfect spot if I'm going to start building at all. Otherwise, I will not build a base. I need to realize, let's just make a starter base. It could just be wherever, somewhere safe, build it, let's just have it. I can build somewhere else later on when I have mobility to, to explore better. So, with that said, we're going to teleport either here or here, and I want to build by the water, so let's see where I get traveled to when I respawn here. You notice this tree right here with these little cones? That's cool. Alright, so since today is going to be not running around blindly and talking... Let's just get started by getting some of these bushes. Also, they added new berries. I kind of noticed that when I was watching Anib's gaming video. I noticed they had some berries that I have not seen before, so I'm very curious to investigate those. Yeah, these purple things. Oh, no, a raptor. But those purple flowers, I think, are giving me feel, which is very good. I said that in such a weird, horrible way. Just picked up a bunch of stuff. It's fine. Actually, what if I just built right here in this little valley? There's a lot of cactuses. I could get water. Let's look at the map. How close am I to a water source? I think I should just go towards the water, though. Yeah, I probably should. I mean, just look at this shot with these massive cactus trees and, like, the desert. This is just... This foliage just makes it so much more lively. It makes it like I feel like it'll be exciting to explore because now it just feels like there's could be things hiding in the bushes lurking. Why do I feel like Tab would be the one? Oh my goodness! There's a titanosaur over there. Help! Died again. I hear raptors to my right. Okay. They're killing something over there. Hopefully they don't see me. I'd like to potentially get my stuff and take a look at this titanosaur. That is so cool to see. I hear... Oh, I hear a Jerboa nearby. Oh. It's massive. My game can't even handle its massiveness. It's just destroying this forest. This would be a horrible place to build with this thing stomping my base constantly. Okay, let's just run to the water as fast as possible. There's some raptors down there on the right. I'm going to move to the left. Hopefully I don't run into another horde of them. Oh, he's a cool Jerboa. What level is he? 10? I think I should at least get a level 50 Jerboa, but we can have a few of them. Let's just take a look at this shot right here. Just like looking at this area. Oh, I could build right there. How am I warmer in the water? Is the water really that warm here? Okay, what level do I have to be for this? Or because it has the red circle, it might let me open it up anyways. Level 45. But it won't always be that easy to get. Um, I want to make my base somewhere around here. even make it up closer to here but you know i don't mind have i want it to be easily accessible i don't want to be like doing a lot of movement to get around there's a raptor right there but i'd like to take that little spot down right there okay we need to figure out how to kill this raptor okay let's get a plan going to kill him do i get do i have the bola yet is the bola gainable yes it is perfect i will take that so is the bow I could have swore I saw a little guy right around here. There he is. 
Sorry, but you're going to be a sacrifice because I need to kill this raptor. There's that raptor. Hopefully he's not a super high level because three spears might not be enough. Oh, there's three raptors. I don't have three bolas. Oh, I could build right across over here. I don't see any raptors over here. And this is a bit more open of an area to see. It's a little further from the trees. I think I, I see a raptor's tail right there or something. You know what? Right here wouldn't be bad. Yeah, this is where I'm going to build. This looks good. And it's by the water. Okay. Well, I guess we don't have to fight the raptors, but we're more prepared now, which is nice. If I E to equip this, oh, it would just do that. Okay. Where exactly would I like to position this? Would I like to put it on the water right here? You know what? Maybe that wouldn't be bad. There we go. I think it, what's cool is I like the way Thatch looks now, but it it definitely looks weaker. It definitely looks like the durability that it has. Oh, so R is how I change that. So I hit R. Now I can put a door down. We'll put it in the middle. Oh, this is so cool. And then, like, they kind of made things taller. So, like, this isn't as short as it used to be. And it actually has, like, an overhang right here versus just being open in the middle. So, oh, I'm so excited to see how they changed the building in this. Okay. Let's see what this is about. Let's get these walls in here. Now, there is a little window one. Would I want a little window? Um. Need a flip. Oh. No, I wouldn't mind a few windows just to be able to see what I what's out there. There's a few directions I'd like to see. I know I placed the windows kind of random, but like, these let me see. Oh, and you can actually see out windows when you walk up to them now because of the extra little things they've done. That is so nice. Oh, I love this. It's gonna, designing homes in this game is gonna be so great now. Oh, interesting. So it doesn't just do... You have to do two for it to work, but it still works. So I'm going to need more than I thought. Okay, I like the way this is looking. What does this look like from the outside? Oh, this is going to be such a cool little thatch home. I love the way it looks. This is actually really nice. I like that texture. I did not mean to do that. I guess I just crafted a new one. Oh, I just put doors on there. So now we have a little home that we can cool off in. <laughs> it is just a one color, but you know, it's cool. Maybe um, when I upgrade it, I can leave the roof as thatch for now. I mean, it's just the starter home. Now what's up next on the list is we got to get a Draboa. But I would like to do a few little extra things to this house, which I'll just do later. Let's try to get a Draboa. It probably won't be that hard. I mean, it shouldn't be hard. I do need to get a bed and everything in there, but I'll I'll do that later. Hey, where are you at, little Draboas? I know there was one over... Oh, there he is. Or she, I don't know. So he, he's level 45, that's good enough for me. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oops. I hope you don't wake up fast. What are these berries? A common green berry found in merry bushes. Tasty can be used to make green dyes. 
I don't know which berry is this thing. I think these are the best berries or Mijo berries. That thing freaked me out. I thought it was over. We're just gonna name this Draboa Draboa. It's my Draboa. I don't have much else to say about it. Can I just drop him in here? Oh, throw soldier pet. Okay. And then I hold T to do the whistles. I could say whistle follow all, whistle follow one, whistle all stop. There you go. All right, we got ourselves a Draboa. He is gray and orange. I like the little orange bits. Whoa, I got to see his ears. Look at that pattern on his ears. That is really cool. Oh, so that turns off my HUD. There we go. It's just the tab button. Now I can look around and see things like this. This is how I'd like to be playing. Just be fully immersed in it and then be able to click that to fix that. Okay. Well, we completed our goal for today. Died a few times. Okay, he's just going to sit in the corner. But we made a nice little thatch home. Got a nice little baby Draboa. Um, We are ready to start fighting raptors, worst case scenario. Oh, is that another baby? I wonder how these babies work. Do I have to, like, fight the mom for it? I think I have to fight the mom for it. That's a really cool idea that there's baby creatures. Because that, like, makes a whole new way to tame certain creatures. Anyways, that's all the time I have for today. Sorry I've been a little low energy today, but I've had a massive mind green. But um, anyways, I really enjoyed being able to play a little more Ark today. And we completed our goal. So I will see you guys in the next one. Adios, amigos.